gorgeous! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaja. Today, gagawa tayo ng experiment about a foundation. Yung tipong alam natin na yung foundation na yun, hindi nag-work for oily skin. Pero may mga steps tayo or technique tayo na gagawin today para kumaga parang experiment natin kung mag-work ba siya para hindi mag-oil up yung skin. So, today we're going to test out this foundation from Maybelline. So, it's the Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Though, hindi ko pa siya nagagamit on myself. Nakapanood na ako ng marami-rami na reviews about this. And so far, lahat ng may oily skin. <laughs> Ang ginawa nila ay mag-blot ng mag -blot. First, okay siya. As you can see, kakalagay ko pa lang kasi... Um, as you can see on my skin, um, very matte finish siya. Wala siyang sheen or whatsoever. But let's check it out kung may difference na mamaya-maya. Kasi dito sa right side of my face, may ginawa akong extra steps para nga mag-work siya sa oily skin. Whereas dito, yung usual na um, primer, foundation, and setting powder. And that's it. Ito, marami pa tayong keme. So, yun. If you wanna know what I did on this side para mag-work, or hindi pa natin alam, ito test pa natin actually. Kung mag-work siya for oily skin on this side of my face, then please just keep on watching. This is my bare skin, guys. Um, I just applied moisturizer from Clean and Clear. Yun lang yung nakapatong sa skin ko, except for my brows and konting lipstick. So, again, we're going to experiment on this foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I am in the shade Natural Beige. So, siguro medyo light yung um, tone for me, but I have acidic skin. So, it might turn a little bit darker on my skin after a while. Basically, hindi ako gagawa ng first impression. I already know that um, hindi ito para sa oily skin. We're going to do some steps para or techniques para mag-work siya. Let's go ahead and prime the face. I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil um, Skin Perfecting Primer on the left side. And then the Professional Pro Balm. Um, on the right side. Okay, so tapos ko nang na-prime yung face ko. The first trick that I learned from Goss Makeup Artist is right after priming the face down is you have to set your primer very lightly. Pwede daw gamitin yung translucent powder, but I will just use my handy dandy Johnson's Baby Powder. And then Ganyan lang. Konti lang. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to dust it all over my right side of the face. So after setting your primer lightly, sabi nila maglagay din daw ng finishing spray dun sa parts na magiging oily kayo. Alright, apply na tayo ng foundation. I believe musi formula tong foundation na to. So yan, unahin muna natin si left side na primer lang. Musi nga talaga siya. So there you go. The foundation is on. As you can see, super matte siya. Wala siyang sheen or whatsoever on the face. I'll be honest, medyo cakey siya. Just going to pat the beauty blender para mag-help. Na mag-sit talaga siya on the skin. Next technique is about setting the foundation. So I'm just going to apply the under eye concealer first before we set. Okay, so after the concealer, I already went ahead and set the concealer on this side pinatpat ko lang dyan while on the right side um, nagbe-bake ako you already know the baking method na talagang nag-help siya with the longevity and yun nga, oil control so what I'm going to do is to bake this side of my face and then dito sa part na to, talagang iseset ko lang with the powder and I am using the Essence All About Matte 
fixing compact powder. Actually, hindi ko naman pinibake. Parang, I'm just using the damp sponge to set the foundation. Actually, ito lang yung nakabake. So, yun nga, yun lang yung technique ko. Using the damp sponge para iset lahat. And then, sa kabila, again, the baby powder the setting with the patting motion. Time to dust off the excess powder sa ating bake. So, that's basically it. I'll just complete the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Alright, so this is the rest of my makeup done. It is now 3.41. As you can see, 3.41 in the afternoon. Alam ko late na, pero it only takes about 2 to 3 hours sa aking skin para mag-oil up. So, yun ang titignan natin kung after 2 to 3 hours, may difference ba itong dalawang sides dahil dito madami tayong ginawang extra step while dito usual lang. So yeah, I'll see you on my first update. This is the first hour ng foundation sa aking face. I know uh, pinakita kong time sa inyo is 3.40 in the afternoon but actually nag, um, natapos ako mag-apply ng foundation ng 3pm pero syempre nag-apply pa ako ng makeup so it took about 45 minutes <laughs> kasi nga ganun ako matagal akong mag-apply sa sarili ko but anyways, this is the first hour, so in my right side as is pa din and also on the left side wala pang any oils na nagsisip through um, mas dewy lang yung tip of my nose as you can see yan ang unang unang <laughs> talagang nag oil up sa akin. Okay guys, so it's 5.01. So it's been 2 hours. And usually after 2 hours, nag start na mag see through yung oils ko and let's take a look. Yung nose ko definitely. You know, nag shine na siya. Nakakita niya naman. Sa cheeks, halos parehas. Wala akong nakikita ng difference. Um, sa camera, mas matte itong side na to. Can you tell? Mas matte ng konti ito, diba? Kasi dito. But, okay pa rin. Hindi pa rin ako um, kinakailangan mag-blot. But, yeah, let's see later. Okay guys, so time for an update. It's 6.30 in the evening. So, three and a half hours. Tama ba? Yeah, 6.30. Okay, so, kakaluto ko lang. Actually, meron pa akong sinalang doon. But, I can definitely feel my my oils. You know? So, pasensya na. Itong nasa forehead ko, pawis lang yan. Pero, <laughs> oily na ako. Shiny na. As you can see, both my cheeks are shiny. Pero mas shiny yung itong part, left side. Shiny na yung buong yan. Whereas dito, as you can see, ito lang. My forehead is fine. My chin is dewy. And wait lang, merong gusto ding mag-update sa inyo. Come here. Hi! <laughs> Hello, what do you want? Eat? Yes! <laughs> Update daw siya. Kakain na siya. Gutom na siya. Gutom na. Hunting bear. Ah. Alright, so there you go. After three and a half hours, makikita niyo yung difference. Oily na dito sa part na to. Pero yung other parts are just starting to alam niyo, seep through yung oils. But definitely dito, shiny na. So you can see there is a difference talaga on the few extra steps that you do. So yeah, I hope that this video is helpful. Wala naman ako talagang thoughts na igagather other than yun nga, kailangan mag few extra steps tayong mga oily girls para mag work ang mga foundation like this one. 
para sa atin. So, yeah, if hindi na ako makabalik, I hope that you like this video. Give this a thumbs up if you do like it and if it is helpful in a way. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!